Hi guys, this is part two. I have done already part one, uh, master three things in Forex. And in that video, I was talking about entry guys. And in this video, I will talk of entry plus target because the second thing that you need to understand is what are you targeting? Have you ever found yourself that you have entered a trade? It had given you, let's say $50. But because you are not even sure, by the time you are entering this trade, you are not sure where you will put your target. Where will you close? So the market is giving you $50. It gives you $100. It gives you $150. And you, you're keeping pushing it. Oh, let me, my target is always $200. That way, you will find that the market will start to retrace. It takes your money. You from 150, it goes 100. From 100, it goes 50. It goes back to negative. And maybe you will be forced to cancel the trade or you will blow the account. So targeting is very, very important. The reason why I have put my number here is because of many scammers out there. They are willing to scam you guys. So if you want any of my services, in fact, the only service I offer is the course and I teach physically. Physically, if you are in Kenya, or you, your international student who you are planning maybe to come visit Kenya as you learn Forex, you're most welcome. So for international students, you can buy the course that is recorded. It is in form of videos. It has 12 modules, 10 strategies. And uh, the number is plus 254-700-344-066. So if anyone communicates to you with a different number, this is a warning. And I will be doing this on all my videos because majority of people are getting scammed or are falling to scammers. And for me, they come back to me to tell me, oh, I sent you money or oh, uh, Bitcoin trading. I don't do Bitcoin trading. The only thing I provide is training and training. I have a very, very detailed course and I charge a thousand dollars. Some people may ask, Esther, why do you charge a thousand dollars? I will repeat. I am offering 10 strategies, guys. 10 strategies. Each strategy, I am charging $100. But because I cannot sell a strategy by its own, because it is intertwined, the only strategy that I can sell on, on its own is OPT strategy. And uh, I, I think it's only OPT strategy. And OPT strategy, most of the videos I have I have talked about here. So it's not, it's not uh, a private, more private kind of a strategy because I have shared with many people. And in fact, that is the strategy I will do on this video for you to really understand your entry and your target. So that is if you're interested, WhatsApp me and then we'll talk from there. The course is already available. Immediately you pay a thousand dollars, I will send you the course. That being said, let's get into the details. Master three things in Forex. We did the entry. And guys, I told you, Entry is very, very important, more so whenever you want to trade. Anytime you want to, uh, to buy the market, if I want to buy the market, I will use which entry? If I want to sell the market, I will use which entry? So anytime I want to buy or to sell, there is what I am using. There is the strategy that I am using. So the entry we talked in that video. But if you have not watched that video, I will emphasize because I will start now from the entry. Let's say from, and I kept saying, I teach 10 strategies. And I will list them because I will not get tired of listing these strategies for people to really understand what I offer. You know, when you say, oh, my cost is $1,000, nobody even know what do you offer in $1,000. And again, this is $1,000 with lifetime mentorship. In case I had other strategies, you will never pay again. So once you pay $1,000, you will enter my WhatsApp group. And from there, you will be able to enjoy anything that I come up with. So it's a good deal, guys. And let me tell you, from OPT strategy, and I want you to comment down below and tell me the strategy that you use. I have OPT strategy. I have BWA. I have RBV. I have RWR, I have BRC, I have BBR, I have CRB, and I have CSB. Those are the eight strategies. The newest strategy, the two newest strategies that I'm working, and these are powerful, guys. These are strategies that I will be using, and I will be placing 10 lot size. This is BTB strategy, 
and RWC strategies. So these two strategies, I'm still working on them. I'm still back testing. I have still I have shared with the old students, and they have really loved them. And these strategies, they are I don't know. And I may still think that they they are the thing. And God still will give me more because understand this. My kind of mentorship is not from a human origin. I don't come on YouTube and learn from people and then I come and I make strategies out of people what they have taught me. You have to know the difference. With Esther Moffrey mentorship is directly from the Holy Spirit, is directly from God. You see the Bible where, where it says that God has given us the ability to create a world. That is what actually I tapped. When I read that verse, I told God, I'm on Forex. I am. I do forex, but I don't have the skill. I keep blowing my account. I keep um, changing strategies. Why can't you God teach me? And then I read somewhere that the Holy Spirit is our teacher. Holy Spirit is our guide. Holy Spirit is our counsel. Holy Spirit is our mentor. And I was like, stop. Let me take Holy Spirit as my teacher. Holy Spirit from today, teach me forex. So the kind of training that I do is not from a human person. I have not sat down and learned OPT, BW, RBV, no. I listen to the Holy Spirit. He guides me, he teaches me. And if you're not spiritual, and that's why I keep telling you guys Forex is spiritual. If you're not spiritual, you may not even understand what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, those are the strategies. So when you are mastering the three things, entry is very important. And on this video, I want just to pick the OPT strategy to try and guide you with OPT strategy because OPT strategy is the strategy that I have chosen. From the 10 strategies, OPT strategy, CRB strategy, and CSB strategy are in the public. I can talk about them. I can say what they are, but in the course, they are more detailed. So OPT strategy, CRB, CSB, I will be talking about them. So let's pick... Pick OPT strategy as our entry strategy. So if I come here and I say, for me to get an entry, I need a strategy. So entry equals, anytime you want to look for an entry, you need a strategy. And in this case, I have chosen OPT to be my strategy. Okay, guys, are we together? And then remember on that video, I said, avoid lower time frame. So I will not find myself on 15 minutes, five minutes time frame. Why? Because I'm avoiding lower time frame. So entry strategy, I have chosen OPT for you. You can choose patterns. For someone else can choose moving average. For someone else can choose indicators like um, ATR. And someone else can do uh, ICT order blocks. Strategies are many. I'm not saying mine are special. I'm just saying, what do, do you really choose when you're coming to trade? What do you choose? That is what I am up to. What do you choose? When you say, now I want to trade, what comes in your mind and what, this is what I will choose. So uh, we we first start with the what we choose. Uh, at the end of the day, we choose, we choose entry and uh, strategy and it is equals OPT, okay? Then the target from the strategy itself, that's where you get the target. Someone who is using moving average will not have the same target with someone using uh, using patterns. Let's say if I put moving average, for instance, let me show you what I mean with target. If I come here and I go to indicators, and I will be teaching you about moving average soon. If I put these two moving average, number one is 50 and 20. I love 50. I used to use 50 and 20 a lot. So if I come here and put 50, this is moving. I'm just showing you difference between um, 50 who used to be black and then and then uh, 20 used to be red. I used moving average for a very long time before I graduated. And I'm not saying moving average are wrong, no. So if you use moving average, this is what made me <laughs> stop using moving average. How I was using moving average as my entry. And you guys, you have to listen to me and you have to listen what I'm trying to tell you. When it comes to entry, by the time you're saying this is my entry level, 
this is what makes me enter. This is what triggers my entry. You'll have tested so many things. So someone will come and teach you about moving average and tell you if you see moving average broken, like you, can you see this candle being broken? The market is coming to the 50 moving average. So there's someone who will tell you because already 50, 20 has been broken, you can sell to 50. And that is your target and get 13 pips. You see, there are people who do like that. And I used to do like that, but I came to realize it's not that accurate, guys. So there's someone who will put the moving average. Remember, if I have not put the moving average, if I don't have the moving average, so if I can't hide the moving average, will I know where to target? I want to sell. Will I know the target? I will not know. So you can see by the time you are choosing the strategy number two. So the strategy you will use, the entry, the strategy that you will use to enter that market, it will guide you on target. I hope I have made myself clear. So those people who will choose moving average as their entry, so they use moving average. And how they use moving, I'm just giving an, as an example. If moving average breaks the 20 moving average, it is coming to 50. If that's how you trade your market, you will be targeting 50 moving average. You will not come and target this zone because it is past your 50 moving average. That's what it means by target. So anyone who is using ranging, let's say this is the ranging that I was talking about. If you use the ranging, like let's say the market has broken this support and someone will say, my strategy, I wait for the market to break support. You see, I wait for this market to break support and then I will target the distance. So if the market breaks support, I will target that distance downside. That's where my take profit is. So this is your target. So the question is, how did you get this target? This target was a result of first understanding the strategy and the strategy is the support being broken. Can you see the support has been broken? And then you have taken all the, the distance of that ranging and say, this is my target and start practicing from it. Sometimes it will hit the target, sometimes it will not. Then you will build something out of that, okay? So target, if your entry is wrong, your target will always be wrong. So you can be good at the target, you're targeting very well, but the strategy that you started is very wrong. So it means even if you have targeted well and this, this entry is bad, it means you're not going anywhere. So by the time you are coming to the target, Many people want to target. Many people would say, this trade will give me $100. This trade will give me $50. I want this trade to close at $20, but their entry is bad. In fact, their entry is so off. If you have to, I don't know. And, and I, I have found that is a very big uh, challenge with many traders. They are pro what they are making in the market. They are pro, this is what I will make. This is how much I will make. They are not, by the way, this strategy is the one that is giving me the target. Now, because this is the second thing that we are doing, I want us now to, to start from a scratch. So uh, let me remove moving average because I have told you we will use OPT strategy. And if this is my trade, I'm analyzing on four hour. I told you avoid lower time frame. If I come and I'm analyzing on um, on lower time frame. This is, I'm analyzing on lower time frame. Uh, on four hour, I am avoiding lower time frame because the first thing with your strategy, avoid lower time frame. So for me, I will use OPT strategy. So number one, I will see this Marubozu candle and I will ask myself, what is the meaning of Marubozu? Does it mean sellers have entered? And this is a bearish marubozu, meaning sellers have the power. So I will see bearish marubozu and I will not be quick to sell because that's another mistake people do. They will see bearish marubozu, pop, they sell. 
They'll see bearish Marubozu has broken that support. Quick, they sell. By the time you are selling, you have been trapped because if you trade the seal, you will always lose in the market. We have to know how to trade the unseen. I keep teaching people that when you trade the unseen, that's when you start succeeding. When you start trading what other people are not seeing. If you keep trading Marubozu, you have seen Marubozu sell and you sell, you will lose big time because Marubozu is there for you to see it and sell. And the market makers, they are wise. If they want people to sell in a market, they give what you're supposed to see for you to sell. So for me, when I see bearish Marubozu, I'm thinking, what is this? So when you look at these charts, the market has broken, yes, it has broken the support. But where is it coming? The next resistance, maybe the market is coming to retest. Can you see this is a resistance? Resistance is created when a green candle is followed by a red. I hope that one you know. So we have a resistance here. So number one, I have a resistance. Imagine if you don't know these things, but don't worry, I'm here to teach you. So if I have a resistance here, I won't be excited by that marubozu because the market can be coming to the market can be coming to do one thing to act to the market can be coming to retest this area and go up and continue going up so the market can can be retesting here and continue up that is one thing another thing this area, because it's, a, it's a, a resistance zone that is almost turning to support, the market can have a choice to come now and break it. And once it break it, it will go to look for the next support zone where the market has tested multiple times. So this is a very strong support because the market has tested most, mo, multiple times. So when I look at this market like this, I'm not interested in the Marubozu. Because I know, yes, it has broken my support. Yes, support has been broken. But where is it going? Where is it going? So the question is, will it be rejected or will it break? And that's what many people don't understand in their strategy. Their strategy, they don't have all those questions. Their strategy, they don't have those questions. Two things can happen here. You, you are seeing Marubozu. And Marubozu market can come and break. So if it breaks, if you are selling, you are lucky, you have made money. So the market can continue to sell and the next candle can be like that. Well, for you, you have made money. If this is you, congratulations. But don't you think the same market can, can, reject, can reject that area? Don't you think the same market can reject that area? Show you. Imagine you are waiting for the market to break. Don't you, don't you have in mind that the market can attempt to break and then reject? So we have two scenarios. And we know if the market rejects, it will start going up. You see? starts going up. So in this case, we have two scenarios. Either the market breaks or the market rejects. And that's why, be, instead of asking yourself all these questions, you see, you will be trading like this if you don't have a strategy. If you don't have a strategy, that's how you trade. You are, you are neither hot, you're neither cold. You don't know if the market will reject, or it will break. You don't know if it is the end of a retracement or it's a beginning of a reversal. Imagine trading in such a dilemma. It is not even good. It is not even healthy, guys. So what I have, I have said, if I want to teach you how to do a target, we will always start with the entry. You see, in the first video, I was emphasizing on the entry. And because now I need to emphasize on the target, we have to get it right, that the entry should be right. If the entry is right, the target should be right. 
So let me delete everything. And now this is my trade. I have opened my trade and I have a Marubozu candle. The first thing that I will notice is that this Marubozu has stopped in this area. The question is, why has it stopped? Why could it not continue? Those are the questions you ask yourself. Why didn't this Marubozu candle proceed and proceed to the next zone? Because if it had mo that momentum, you can see it's a momentum candle. If it has that momentum, why did this stop? And these are questions that you ask yourself when you're alone, when you're trading alone. Ask yourself, why did this Marubozu just stop here? What is so interesting on this zone? When you look on four hour, there's nothing you can see. If this Marubozu stopped here, we can say we have a support. That's why it is stopped around this area. If it is stopped here, we can say it is stopping because of this support. Now, the question is, why is it stopping here? So, OPT, OPT, the way the name OPT means is uh, OPT equals one pattern on one time frame. So that's what OPT means, one pattern on one time frame. So here we don't have a pattern. Here we have a support. Support is like a pattern because a pattern to form this red candle followed by green candle, it created a pattern which we are calling support. But here we don't have a pattern. So if I go to three hours, I do not have anything. Why is this market getting rejected? If I go to two hours, I do not have anything. Can you see? But when I go to one hour, guys, do I have a support? A hidden support. A hidden support, guys. So if you trade like this, you will be very, very much, much advanced. So this support you are seeing, can you see this support? So let me make it very well. This support is what we are calling it OPT. OPT is when you have a support that is hidden. One time frame you can see it, the other time frame you cannot see. It. So if this is how you'll be trading, you can see the difference between one, the difference between this number one and number two, what is the difference between support one and support two? The difference between support one and support two is because if I go to four hour, support one disappears. I no longer see it. Can you see any red candle followed by green? There is no. But support two, I am seeing it. So on one hour, support one is OPT. On two hours, that support is everywhere. Okay? So that tells you this Marubozu candle once it was being defined and it was uh, being formed, the market makers knew majority of people will never go to one hour for OPT. And that's why I say, if your strategy allows you to go to lower time frame, fine. But there's no way you can go to analyze 15 minutes. Did we start from one hour? We started from four hour. Four hour is the one that is giving us guidance. Do we go to lower time frame or higher time frame? Four hour is the one that is giving us guidance. So in this case, I go to one hour and I find that obstacle. This is an obstacle, guys. And this kind of an obstacle has created a support. This is number one support. And now because I have support, so I have these two supports. So number one, I have, I have, I have the support here. The market has tapped to my support. So I have support one and I have support two. What happens when you have support one and support two? When you have a place market rejecting the first time and comes again reject, it forms a double support. And this is what we call double bottom. So instead of placing it support, I can call it double bottom. Can you see? Can you see now? So when you apply all the rules of a double bottom, this is how you apply the rules of double bottom. You have a double bottom, you have a neckline, and you have the half. 
can you see you have the half so you are either observing now once you have the pattern and you see if you dare to go to four hour there's nothing like that you're finding you cannot find such thing on four hour if you dare call this double bottom someone will ask you what are you saying so this is a strategy that you can use. It is a specific strategy that you can use that can help you big time. So when it comes to targeting, you already know how to target. So for double bottom, the strategy is CRB, and I don't want to go into details. So if I want to target and I get, let's see what happens. Will I get a current resistance uh, breaking? So I get this is a current resistance and it's because it's near my half. Let me wait half to be broken. So if I wait for this market, I wait like that and the market breaks, it's all, all almost near the half. So I, I don't enter. I am waiting for half to break because that's how we trade a double bottom. This becomes my entry. So this entry becomes so powerful because if you don't see such a setup, you will never end. So this entry, it is evident. If I have an entry, where am I targeting? The targeting becomes easier because from, from CRB to half, from half to neckline. So if I am targeting to the neckline is 46 pips. So I'll just come. You see how targeting is easier. You don't strain with target. Your strategy, if it is good, your target becomes easy, okay? So that is our target. And as we wait, let's see, as we wait, the target is easy. So imagine if you didn't know about OPT strategy, you are stuck on four hour. You will have, you will be the person who sold, you will be the person who sold because the market broke support. You will come and sell here and target, and then the market goes against you because you are don't have enough evidence. So I hope this video was helpful. One of the most profitable strategies that are in public and I teach my students is OPT because OPT is what lies a foundation of every strategy that I have built. It. For me, I don't trade if something is not OPT. I start from OPT. OPT is very powerful. So if you want more details, if you want more information, if you want, hey, if you know what I'm teaching, I no longer teach patterns to my students. Let me teach here on YouTube because you can still make money with patterns. With my students, we have really advanced. We no longer use patterns, but patterns really can save you a lot. Patterns are good. They can save you a lot of deal. So with that being said, I just need to encourage you to look at those things I have said. I have said have very good entry point and entry point is a strategy. And number two, once you have a good entry, you'll have a target. And number three, we are discussing it in the next video. So don't fail to watch the next video. It will be loaded with information. In the next video, I will use a different strategy as the entry and we'll have a, a, a different target, and then we will discuss the three things. Now, if you have the three things, you're good to go. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you are learning. I hope you're being helped. And always know that for me to come here and to create these videos, I know one day, one time, someone will learn from my videos. They will build a career out of this Forex. And even if I will never know, God will always bless me even without them telling me you don't need to tell me it's not a must but if you succeed just tell me hey by the way i watched that video I was helped and if you want my mentorship i have said it's a thousand dollars and the reason why it's a thousand dollars is because i teach 10 strategies so basically one strategy i'm charging a hundred dollars imagine teaching you such a strategy you tell me where, where would you learn such a strategy? And I'm giving it here for free. So when I tell you that I have a hidden treasure, because Forex is hidden treasure. If I tell you I'm loaded with hidden treasures, just, just listen. Listen, just make that decision, pay the cost. Let me forward you the details and you will be surprised. Anyway, 
Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I love you so much. Bye-bye. Love you.